what's up everybody welcome back to the channel we had a little front come in it's actually coming in right now uh temperatures dropping as we speak it was about mid 60s this morning and it's supposed to get down to uh into the low 40s tonight something like that i think not a huge cold front but definitely a cold front coming through a um, little bit of rain coming down right now which is pretty unusual uh, as of late we have not had much rain in a long time it, it's very dry but um, water levels down about six feet i've not spent a lot of time on this particular lake uh, this fall so far i've shot a couple videos over here but i figure today we're gonna have to probably fish a few docks probably fish some brush so don't really know what we'll have to do but we're gonna figure it out as we go appreciate y'all watching y'all stay tuned we're here at the first spot a few fish under this dock right here and if you'll notice this particular dock there's not any way to get a jig under it so you kind of have to cast around the outside of it and try to pull those fish out it's uh not an easy one to fish for sure But we'll see what we can do here. We're gonna start out with a uh, we're gonna start out with a crappie magnet, one sixteenth head. See if we can get one to buy it here. Several follow it, but we didn't get one to grab it. There we go. There's one. That's a crappie. First one of the day and a good one too. Yep. Nice one. Probably 11 and a half inch or so. Got him on the crappie magnet with the 1 16th crappie magnet nickel jig head. We're gonna keep us a few of them a day. get back in there he's got several buddies in there with him so we might be able to get another one or two right there there's some brush running right outside that dock and that's kind of what those fish were on i'm just using a crappie magnet i think that color is called fast lane um i've got a little bit of chartreuse right there on the tail i just use spike it chartreuse dye like I said, the 116th crappie magnet head. And right now I'm using four pound um, vicious mono. I'm gonna be shooting dock some today and I know that. So, you know, you guys see me use a whole lot of braid to fluorocarbon, but for shooting docks, I'm still a big fan of straight mono as well. So, well, they're lined up across the front of that dock. My rod today, I'm using the, the six foot medium light must add detector rod really just a great little rod really really enjoyed using these rods this winter so far i've caught a ton of fish on them hadn't had any problem with one yet they're tough they're sensitive they're inexpensive can't go wrong on to the next spot. A pile of crappie under this dock and I kind of figured there would be. Hadn't fished here yet this year, but this is a place that holds them pretty often. They're smart, but they're usually big and they're usually here. You can usually count on them. So we're gonna see, can we get a couple of them to bite? There he is. Just barely came out there and just, I mean, just barely got tight. It's a crappie too and a nice one. Not a real big one, but good keeper. Well, there is a pile of them in there. Perfect eating size. him on the crappie magnet again i've also got a trout magnet rigged up 
I'd rather catch them on that copy magnet. But uh, if they want to, if they want to get picky, we'll throw that trap magnet in there. Probably catch a few more on it. There's one. Almost jacked it up. I got him. Picked up one of my rods that had the split shot rig on it <clears throat> that I usually throw when I'm fishing brush piles and stuff. It's just a size five split shot with a little trout magnet. A little bit faster fall on that trigger one to bite. Great, certainly not easy to get to bite. I knew they wouldn't be on this spot. I told y'all when I got here, these are some smart, smart crappie right here. But you just got to keep trying different things and doing different things. And eventually something's going to work, you know. There is a time to stay and mess around with them and try to get them to bite and try this and that, try different colors. And I could do that. But I tried three different jigs, three different setups in there. And I got a whole bunch of follows and I got two crappie to bite. So here's the deal. Y'all know what I always say. They are always biting somewhere. And we're going to find somewhere. There he is. <clears throat> I've seen that fish coming from a ways away to come get it. It's a good crappie there. A lot of bluegill striping stuff on this place, but there's also some crappie too. It's just a big bunch of brush. This guy right here's got a lot of brush right out in front of his dock. Dang, that fish got me. It is not easy today, that's for sure. And I, I'll be honest with you guys, I thought it was going to be a lot better today just because of the fact that this front's kind of kind of coming in and uh, I just thought they'd be easier to get to bite, to be honest with you, but they're, they're certainly not. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm not surprised either. It doesn't really surprise me that they're being a little bit tough just because, number one, the weather's been really, really crazy. If you live anywhere in the south, you know it's been kind of unseasonably warm. And these fish know that, you know, it, they're probably still feeding at night a lot and stuff. There we go. Hit it on the fall. I don't think it's a very big one, but it's the right kind. Little black nose. First nine keeper we've caught today. Back in there, buddy. There we go. That feels like a decent crappie. That would be a good crappie. Yeah, not a great big one, but a dang sure nice one. Biggest one of the day so far. Mm -hmm. I changed my rig up on this spot right here just a little bit. It's funny, the last video we talked about keeping your options open. Um, I got three or four different rigs rigged up here. And in this particular spot, obviously, I'm not having to shoot my jig or anything. And these fish are down there about 12 to 15 foot. So I've got the, the split shot rig, the little pink 164th ounce trout magnet. And then I got the split shot on there just to get it down a little bit quicker. I find that a lot of times uh, you can cover a lot more water and trigger those fish to bite with that that little split shot rig and that 164th man that that little bitty size is if you're not throwing that little trout magnet and that little 164th head man it will absolutely get them I mean it's it's bad news on black crappie for sure if you're fishing around black crappie I know white crappie like a little bit bigger profile bait if you're fishing around 
you're fishing around black crappie or black nose crappie, you need to be throwing that little trout magnet because it is a bad, bad dude. There we go. I just got to hit just the right little spot and I'll get a bite. I believe this is another keeper crappie. Yep. Another nice one. No giants today yet. But some good, good eating size fish. I hadn't kept any fish in a couple weeks, so. That's number six. Probably keep about, I don't know, 10, maybe a dozen a day, something like that. I've been eating some fish, so. Need to replace a few. There he is. Got them going a little bit in there now. Now, let me re reiterate what I said earlier. Y'all remember what I said? Y'all, y'all say it with me. They are always biting somewhere. Guess what? We found somewhere. You just got to keep moving. I mean, there's a time to stay and grind it out, but. I hadn't been on this lake much and I had a lot of things that I wanted to look at a lot of things in my mind so I just kept moving and I finally finally found some that were willing to play sometimes that's all it takes there we go Not a good keeper. A lot of good keeper size fish in there. I hadn't really <clears throat> hadn't really seen any on active target that looked to be real real big, but that's the perfect eating size fish. There we go. Another good keeper. I'll take it. Especially on a day like today when I'm trying to keep a few fish. I love catching them big two pounders, but from right there, are the ones you want to eat about 10 and a half, 11 inches. About perfect. There we go. If I get it in that school, it's uh, it's going to happen. This one feels pretty good here. Yeah, it ain't a great big one, but it's a dang nice one. Oh, come in here, boy. Bigger than the, bigger than the last few we've caught for sure. Big old thick one. Look at that. Look how broad that fish is. Big old black crappie. It's a nice one. That's borderline of the size I like to throw back. I'm fish hungry today, so he's going in the live with. There he is. Got him going in there now. The last two or three have been in the exact same spot right there. Oh, this one's running. I got my drag backed off. I mean, I like to... I like to bite them. It ain't that big a fish. It's probably just the way he's hooked. I mean, it's a good crappie, but it ain't one of them great big ones. He just mean. Ain't nothing wrong with him, though. That's for sure. It's funny. That pink head's getting it done. I had talked about this a little bit earlier in the year, but from now, you know, the water temperatures. Actually, let's see what the water temperature is. My water temperature is still reading high 60s. But like I said, it's it's been really warm, unseasonably warm. It'll be coming on down here pretty soon. But from this time of the year on into the winter, I really like a pink head. It seems like in my part of the country, they really get on a pink head really good for the next few months. Usually in November is when I'll start throwing the pink head and I'll throw it all the way until 
January when I quit, quit crappie fishing and go back to bass fishing. And it works. That joker shot up out of about 20 foot of water and just wham! I saw him coming. That was cool. Neat when you see him coming with a purpose like that. I'm pretty sure that fish is a keeper. Uh, let's just measure him and see. Oh yeah, he's almost an 11 incher. About 10 and 3 quarter. I thought he was. Just want to make sure. We got us a good mess of them in there now. I think we got 11 or 12. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that one. That's going to wrap it up. Kind of more of a scouting trip than it was a fishing trip obviously yeah i fished and we had a good day caught several didn't catch them like i really expected to it was tough it was not easy uh if it wasn't for that one spot it would have really been tough but like i said in the video man they're always biting somewhere you just got to find that spot and we stuck with it today and we got rewarded for it and that's what fishing's all about you know i, I find that happens a lot of times crappie fishing bass fishing it doesn't matter you stick with it eventually you're going to hit the right place at the right time and that's exactly uh, what happened today but looked at a lot of different stuff covered a lot of water just wanted to see kind of where these fish were on this particular lake uh hadn't been here a whole whole lot and just wanted to see where they were where they weren't learned a lot so we'll be back i appreciate you guys tuning in i'll see you next time right here brandon lester fishing